What's vision. the best thing that someone's ever brought? Well, there's, there's, they don't buy the things. What happens, we have three sets of contestants and they come on the show and we have a row of three items and each of these items has a wonderful tale to tell. Which one's the best tale? Well, I think one of the best tales was a penny with a hole in it. And you thought, well, it's just a Victorian penny with a hole in it. Ah, no. There was something very special. This was a, a penny that came from Buffalo Bill's Wild West Circus <gasps> that came to England. Well, <gasps> that came to Europe during the 19th century. Queen Victoria came to watch this amazing show where there were cowboys and Indians, naturalised Americans, we call them now, but there were cowboys and Red Indians and there were, there were mock battles. Even the great sitting bull was part of this. But star of the show was a young girl who was a sharpshooter, Annie Oakley. Ah, you know, the, you know the, the, the show, Annie, Annie Get Your Gun? Yeah. And she was a girl that her father had taught her to shoot, to hunt, as a young girl. And she was a dead shot. And they tossed coins in the air and boom, you know, like the movies, she shot a hole through them. Wow. Through a coin. And so those that were used in the demonstration were handed out to members of the public. And one of these turned wow. up. How much, David? Oh, About 1,300 quid for oh. a, an old Victorian penny wow. with a hole in it. But then, Amazing. you know, some were true stories and some were not. I had a watch, which was a, an Edwardian silver watch. And it was grubby, it was dirty, it was cracked, it was not working. It had a dirty face. Uh, and you'll realise why it had a dirty face when I tell you. And... Uh, <laughs> It belonged to Abel Seaman, and there was a name on the back of this particular young man. And I went on to explain that he worked for the White Star Line in Liverpool. The next clue is White Star Line, Titanic, the ship that went down, the unsinkable. And he was an Abel Seaman that was on the ship. And fortunately for him, he escaped with a lifeboat, with passengers, and was one of the lucky ones that was picked up by the Carpathia, the ship Carpathia. Mm. Came back to Liverpool and went back to work again for this particular line. Uh, and this is the watch. Now, normally, 40 or 50 quid. But because it's Titanic memorabilia, it could be worth thousands. The question oh. is, is it? Mm, OK. Well, it wasn't. Mm. So, <laughs> I, I don't know what I can yeah, believe anymore. Know. Are you fishing so, with her? So, <laughs> so the Duke is telling Porky some of the time. And then the exciting thing is, as we go through the series, which you'll have to watch today at 3 o'clock, and don't be late, uh, uh, <laughs> what will happen then? We whittle it down to one couple. And that one couple has the chance to play for the £5,000 prize. Surprisingly enough, we call that the Bobby Dazzler. Oh, <laughs> and yeah. then... Um, they either win the prize or there are two items. I tell the truth about two items, but they must choose which is the most valuable item. Right. One is worth 5,000, one is just a few pounds.